Okay, good morning from Delhi. So I'm heading back into Old Delhi today and basically I'm gonna take the metro to get there because A, it's very, very cheap and I wanna show you guys what this is like because it is actually pretty efficient and it's a really good way to get around Delhi. Um, so first stop of the day is a restaurant that was a recommendation that I got from two locals I met yesterday which is near the Jama Masjid, which is a large 17th century Mughal mosque in Old Delhi. So we're gonna start there, go to the Spice Market, which is in another part of Old Delhi. I'm literally shouting right now. Like I'm actually shouting, that's how loud it is. So yeah, that's the plan. Join me and uh, First things first, let's figure out how the metro works. to move with purpose in Delhi. It's hard to just kind of stop and take things in. So the station we're going to is uh, Lashmi Nagar. I think it's how you say it. Lash Lashmi Nagar. Oh, wow. Namaste. Oh, uh, what is that? The Adulan. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. Parata? Parata? Wow. Street food is everywhere in Delhi. You can literally walk outside in anywhere, any place, any time, and just find stands like that selling paratha, or um, I think I'm probably saying this wrong. Uh, bowl, chali, <laughs> basically what I ate yesterday that I can't remember the name of. Um, I'll write it down below, but they're everywhere too. I mean, I literally walked two minutes outside of my uh, hostel and there's food everywhere. Do you know the entrance for Lakshmi Nagar? Hindi. Is it that the entrance? Uh, yeah, Lakshmi Nagar Metro Station. Up here? Yeah. Okay, okay. TK, TK. Alright, I don't know. It said no entrance. That lady told me to go here. I don't like street dogs. Oh my god, it's hot. The one thing that I've learned about the Delhi Metro being here for a day is that there's a significant lack of signage. Um, and it's in like really weird places. So half the time you don't really know where you're going or like what platform your train is on. You just kind of have to wander around and like talk to people. Off of every street, there are just alleyways like that that are just full of life and um, things going on. Man, it's already so hot and humid. Uh, Jama Masjid? One? Yeah. 30 rupees. Okay. 
धन्यवाद Yeah. So I think I'm going this way. But like I said again, like the signage Oh, uh, there's a sign. So I think I need to take two trains actually. So I have to get off here. Mandy house and then take that violet line Okay, so I just got off at Mandy house And I think I got to get the violet line now to Jama Masjid stop. All right, that's where I'm going. Kashmir Gate. Uh, they said no filming in the subway station, which I don't really know. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh yeah. This looks like Jama Masjid. Yeah, so the back of this, this is like the back of the, oh man, just look at this. Like, just, just have a look at this. I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, so this is the back of Jama Masjid. It doesn't look good. It's like just full of trash and obviously like some level of slums. That's the mosque right there that I'm coming up on right now. Wow. Let's go this way. I don't understand like why, you know, like this country, I just don't get it. Like this mosque has so much history, it's so old. And like, they just like let it fall apart to this degree. It's just like absolutely wild to me. You think they would like, I don't know, clean it up a little bit. All right, and we're back in Old Delhi. The place I'm looking for is right around here. They have two things because it's breakfast right now. So two types of mutton. I'm not 100% sure what types they are. Thank you. Oh, nice, thank you. It looks and smells absolutely awesome. All right, so yeah, this is the mutton. It comes with this amazing looking bread. Oh, this is insanely hot. Wow. That is phenomenally good. It's like a thick, almost curry, but like a solid layer of like oil on top. Super spicy. It almost has like a bone marrow type of flavor to it. Mm. Wow. Look at this straight up bone that I just pulled out of this broth. I'm gonna try and get the bone marrow out of this. Wow, this meat is so tender. That's really good. Wow. 
some like seriously good exercise. <laughs> So I'm heading up towards the Red Fort now. It took me a while to find it. I keep getting like, like so distracted because like every, like, like one meter is something new that I just like have to stop and look at or there's like a road that I have to go down. So I, I just like wandered down some street, had some really good Pani Puri. Um, and now, I mean, I, I can see the fort right there, but I still have no idea like how to get into it. It's just unbelievable chaos here. Like, I, I don't know if it comes through the camera like we're not, but it is just like mind blowing chaos here, like at all times. Uh, <laughs> They're persistent. All right, well, this might be the first time in history that a tout was telling me the truth. So I was coming up to the Red Fort and some tout comes up to me like, oh, it's closed, it's closed, which is like a really common scam, right? Like, oh, it's closed, but I can take you on a tour instead and you can come to buy my carpet shop or whatever. And so I was just like walking with him for a while, just like entertaining him. And I basically said like in Hindi, which basically means like this isn't my first time here bro like I know what's going on and he laughed and kind of just walked away and then I get up to the Red Fort and it is actually closed it's closed from now until now which is July 23rd until Independence Day which is August 15th um, confirmed by like police officers blocking the entrance to the fort. So instead of doing that, which I guess I'm just not gonna do uh, because yeah, I'm not gonna be back in Delhi. I'm just gonna go to the spice market. So off of Chandadi Chok, are all of these like tentacle like side streets that kind of lead you into this labyrinth of shops and restaurants and um, storefronts that are like off of the main street and this is where like the real fascinating culture is like back here in these places and so I'm kind of just getting lost right now um, trying to find my way around. So I think I'm going to actually go this way. I know I showed this in the last vlog, but look at these wires. So out of control. So yeah, I haven't quite made it to the spice market just yet, but wow, look at this. Wow. So Old Delhi is um, several hundred years old. It dates back to the Mughals, um, probably about four or five hundred years at least. And 
a lot of these buildings are still original and you see these old doors, wow, like this. That are just like, I mean, this is like hand carved wood, you know what I mean? Ah, that is amazing. Namaste. Hey, tea? Yeah. Ah, chai? Okay. Uh, egg? Kidney rupee, hey? Yes, tiny bug. So many people like walk in front of me and they wave because they think the camera is like facing them. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this. It's hard to drink this while I'm holding this camera at the same time. Wow, it's really good though. This is like the further you go, the more lost you get. I'm just kind of wandering still and I came across this building. It's all like painted brick, green and white with a, with a minaret all the way on the top. Incredibly nice. What is it? Masjid, Masjid. Ah, uh, mosque. Mosque? Uh, namaz, namaz. Uh, it, uh, Islam. Uh, Islam, Islam. Islam, okay. Uh, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah very pretty. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, man, like, the people here are so unbelievably friendly. Uh, just like multiple, multiple experiences of just like really, really, really friendly people. And incredibly receptive to the camera, too, by the way. Like, I have not had one person decline a photo that I've asked, which is kind of remarkable when you think about it is like everywhere else I've traveled at least many people decline photos I will say a lot of the architecture in Old Delhi is really really pretty really pretty so I'm just on the outskirts of the spice market now still in Old Delhi but this is real busy. Look at this area. This is absolutely batshit crazy. Uh, nay, nay. Yeah, it smells like I'm on the outskirts of the spice market.
Oh, he made it. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, say hey. It is excruciatingly hot and muggy. <laughs> I literally can't stop sweating. This is the spice market. I think it's one of the biggest in Asia. And this is just like the main road. This this is a huge part of Old Delhi. Um, and if you kind of just like wander on these back streets, um, you'll, it's just gonna, it's like all spices from what I understand. Literally when I thought Old Delhi couldn't get any crazier and I come here, it's as nuts, it's nuts. So the name of the market is the Kaori Baoli Market. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but um, that's the name of the of the spice market here. Just one of the back streets in the spice market, basically. Your Hello. country name? Uh, USA. USA. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. P. P. T. T. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chai? Uh, chai? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Yes. Yeah, chai. Uh, yeah. Chai. Wait, sit down. Okay. Pane ke the pane the water. Pane ke the water. I just got invited in for some chai. Chai. Yeah. <laughs> this is my third chai today. <laughs> this is my third chai today. Number Third chai. One, two, uh, uh, team. Team. Team Chai. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello. Okay. So, uh, this is black cardamom. Yeah. This is black pepper. Cinnamon. Product of Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this, India? India. Oh, okay. White pepper? Yeah. Anise? Star anise. Yeah. Uh, what is that one? And white, white cardamom. The green part of it. Yeah. Nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Oh, okay. Nutmeg. okay. Yeah, nutmeg flower. Ah, oh. uh, I see. Yeah. So this is the black. This is black cardamom. I thought that was green cardamom, but that's actually nutmeg. Yeah. Mango. Mango. Yeah. Yeah. Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah. 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 India. No. Yeah, Bahar country. Canada. New Zealand. China. China. New China. 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 India. No, no, China. China? Chinese mango? Photo? Photo? Okay, okay. Cool. Alright, awesome. First time India? Yeah. Country name you? Uh, USA. Welcome to India. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's been very fun so far. Uh, second day. Second day. Second day. Second day. 
first time in India, second day. Second day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, uh, YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. You need treatment for sex problems? Come to Chandani Choke Market. <laughs> Makes you young again. That's amazing. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering when I would see a cow. <laughs> it's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> Check this line out. This is, um, I haven't seen this yet in Delhi, but I've seen this like on other people's YouTube channels. This is free food. This is basically like a free lunch they're giving out. Um, look at this line. That's basically like a free meal for the masses, which I would totally take part in if I haven't eaten twice already today. Um, and then Kind of like everywhere else I've seen so far uh, in India, people just kind of throw their trays on the ground. It's like a bunch of styrofoam trays, just throw them on the ground. But but yeah, so that's a free meal. Um, I know they do that in the Golden Temple in Amritsar as well, uh, which I'll be checking out soon. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, well, sorry I didn't do more of a deep dive into the spice market, but um, it is like a hundred, it is like a hundred degrees. I am exhausted. I've been up since 1.30 this morning. It's currently 1 p.m. because of my jet lag. And I think I'm gonna call it good on this, this vlog for the day. I'm gonna head back to the hotel or hostel chill out in the AC for a little bit, drink some water, and uh, yeah, go back out in a little bit, but um, I'll go over here. I'm going to end this vlog for today here in the Spice Market in Old Delhi. If you're coming to here, <laughs> if you're coming to Delhi, obviously you need to come to Old Delhi, but definitely come to the Spice Market because it is like a massive hive of activity. Like there is a lot going on here. There's a street dog eyeing me up right now. I'm going to back up. So until next time, guys, I will see you from Delhi. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to follow along and support this channel. Hit that notification bell to be the first to see my next video. Many more videos about India and other parts of the world coming soon.